Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here for this ACT tip. This tip is related to something I see quite often when I go into a client's office and I'm working in their ACT database. And let me show you what I'm referring to. If I go up and I go look up and I go all contacts, it returns all the contacts on my screen. And I'm going to scroll up to the very top of this list. And you'll notice that when I look at the top of the list, there's all kinds of what appear to be blank contacts. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to double click on the first one. And you're going to see all the contact information is blank. If I go to the next one and the next one and the next one, you'll see it's all blank. Now, the way these contacts get in here is really quite simple. One, someone might have gone up and clicked on new, new contact by mistake. And if I click on new, it creates a new contact and at this point I can just navigate away from this contact and I've basically created all these empty fields with nothing in it. Another way it can happen is on your keyboard there's an, a key, the insert key. And if I hit the insert key, that can also, that's a keyboard shortcut for adding a contact. So these are the two most common ways I see this happening. But if I decide, you know, I want to get rid of these, if I do a lookup of all my contacts, again, I'm going to go look up all contacts. It comes back as a list, and you'll notice the ones at the top, because there's no information in it, are alphabetically at the beginning because there's nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hold the shift key down, and I'm going to click on the last empty one. I'm now on the keyboard going to hit the delete key and I'm going to be prompted. It's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to delete these contacts? Now, there's something I want to tell you here. If you're not on a regular basis and frankly, every night backing up your ACT data, I don't recommend you do this. But to delete these, all I have to do is click yes. But again, make sure and you're prompted a couple times to do this. I'm going to click yes again and you're going to see all the blank ones are gone. So if you have a lot of blank contacts in your ACT database, that's what's causing it. Just make sure that you have backups before you start deleting stuff, just in case you make a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you very much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.